Hi, Ray Hayden here. In this video, um, I want to introduce two things to you that uh, one thing nobody's been asking for because I didn't really talk about it yet, and that's the fire pit. Uh, basically, we had a wood chipper. I'll make a video, detailed video about that later, uh, but that's the thing that had the air filter uh, problem with it. Uh, again, I'll talk about it later. Uh, so the fire pit is a much, much faster, more effective and efficient way to get rid of yard debris. Uh, many places you can't burn. None of the places I've ever lived you could burn. However, here you can, and we go above and beyond the safety requirements to do a legal burn. Uh, so I'll show you the fire pit now, but the other thing I'm going to show you is the cart, the polar cart that I have that I pull behind my, uh, my riding lawnmower. Uh, I'm going to show you that here in a few minutes. I also want to show you one more thing before I do that. I want to show you this tree out here. And that's, uh, that's this tree. Oh, I'm going to point to it here, right there. That tree right there. You notice it's nice and cleaned out all around the trunk. Now, I cleaned that uh, tree out. There's a fire pit that just went past the video there. But uh, I cleaned that tree all the way out, all the way around. There's one little thing sticking up. I'll clean that up again with the mower later uh, or a weed whacker. But the thing I wanted to mention is that that's how I want all the trees to look. I want to you know, clean right up to the trunk of the tree. No weeds, no vines, no other little trees trying to sneak up next to it and steal its uh, life from it. I just want everything nice and clean and crisp. Now let's look at the um, fire pit back here. And uh, what I'm going to show you with the fire pit, let me just adjust the camera here for a minute. Kind of get it more level with the street in the background. But anyways, with the uh, fire pit, where is that? Trying to get, I'm looking at a reflection and my finger. There we go. There's a the fire pit here. What that is, is a, um, it's a great big watering trough. It's a circular water trough that's about five and a half or six feet and then that trough is inside a seven foot watering trough. Neither one of these things will hold water uh, quite literally um, because there's holes in them and everything else. There's silver tape on the side, but they hold uh, firewood. They hold the uh, debris from the yard and uh, we can safely burn it there. We cut the grass real low before we start the fire uh, as a precaution. We soak down the ground 10 feet out around the fire when we do that. And then we monitor that and then re-soak it from time to time because every now and then some little thing will pop out and try to, you know, start a fire in the grass. But it can't because the grass is soaking wet. And secondly, we're there with a hose and we, you know, hose it down anyway. Uh, but with that, let me show you the, the other thing that people have been asking about, and that's the polar cart um, from CLAM, C-L-A-M. And I'll, uh, I'll be right back with that. Stand by. All right, so uh, let's spin this around towards the house again so I can get in the picture. Now, uh, what I did here at the end is I, I basically, uh, you know, tilted the mower back, or uh, the, uh, tilted the uh, cart back, and, you know, dropped the, the uh, pile of uh, future burning debris. And then um, I, d I got back on the mower and I just did a little jerk forward and that kind of pulls everything out of the cart. And then uh, I can uh, work with it from there. Now, um, let's take a look at that in the background. The... Um, Basically, we put the debris uh, away from the fire pit, about 15 to 20 feet away. And then, uh, you know, we soak the ground around it. And we have a, a, a garden hose, is all that's required, really. And, and of course, a, a, a non-flammable container. And then we, um, we just feed the fire. You know, we start the fire in the morning. Uh, we can start here locally at 9 o'clock in the morning. And it has to be out like an hour before uh, sunset. We've never made it that far. Everything that we've had assembled here for burning, uh, we've burned up uh, by about three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we just let the charcoals keep going so that we can burn it down even lower and it becomes basically a fine dust is what we're trying to get with uh, the burning debris. 
and then there's not much left of anything and but we if we need it somewhere to fill in a low spot we can you know take it with the cart and uh, go drop it off somewhere uh, so with that that's gonna wrap this up until I catch you in the next video take care and be well